Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Nadrat Hakparas versus Bobby Green. And how I see this one right here is, um, I think it's like I read the Bobby Green fight, to be honest. I feel like it's always a high chance, well, outside of the last fight. But um, this fight, is got a typical guy that's not no super spectacular wrestler or a striker or anything like that, but he can be aggressive, he can be offensive. And Bobby Green, his style, even though he's not really not throwing a whole lot of punches, he's not really throwing with a whole lot of power in his shots. And he's a lot of times he's giving him the, the, the front foot, you know, being slick off his back foot, landing these little clean counters, outboxing opponents, making them miss. But the fact that they're being aggressive, they're one pushing forward, whether they're hitting arms, shoulders, whiffing, or he's rolling with shots, the judges that see it as offense and they could easily lean into him. They could be down 30 strikes, but the fact that they're pressing and throwing these heavy shots, missing, hitting shoulder, hitting arms, they're like, oh, that guy was more aggressive. And or the guys attempt to take down, try to smother him and go for takedown that they're not getting. Or takedowns he pop back up for, they get like one or two takedowns, but five seconds of control time, like, oh, he's aggressive, so he won. So it could be that very much be the outcome. So I can't really say with high confidence that Bobby Green's going to win, but I feel like this is a winnable fight for Bobby Green. I feel like he should win it. I feel like now Hawk Ross has a lot of questionable defense. Has a pretty long, big head and a big and a hairstyle to make his head even longer. So, you know, just like a punch back sitting in front of you. And it's striking, for the most part, powerful, but very predictable. Very limited combinations. You can literally see the hand he's loading up the throw. Not really affect like a real great boxer, but a decent MMA fighter that can put, put some pressure on you. Chain the combination, you know, decent little low-level combination together and put a little overhand on it. But I feel like Bobby Green should be this. Pop the jab on him, step off, avoid overhand, maybe even catch him with an uppercut when he's loading up on that. But I feel like Bobby Green has the speed on him. I feel like he has the technique on him. I feel like he's a better wrestler. I just feel like he's a more experienced fighter. But again, it could all come down to the fact of who's more aggressive. In that case, it's probably going to end up being a Nas or a hot rest, lackluster decision that they just going to give to him. A lot of people going to question it, but ultimately the judges have the final say. But I feel like Bobby Green will win the actual fight, and I feel like he should get his hand raised. And I hope he gets his hand raised. And I'm going to lean to Bobby Green. I'm going to say, predict me get his hand raised. And yeah. That's what I'm saying. I just feel like he should be able to see everything not about Hawk for us doing. I feel like the biggest concern really going to be leg kick. That could be a problem. I feel like he can avoid the punches relatively easy, but not about Hawk for us. And there's some of these combinations with kicks. That could be an issue. Especially like when, yeah, especially like if he gets some reacting to the hands early, like he's throwing a lot of hands. Then I, like, you know, maybe after the first round or after the like three minutes of the fight, when you, you know, you get the fighter. You know, feeling like this is going to be the type of fight he's in for, and he start to really go heavy with the leg, then that could be a problem. But then also, Bobby Green has a wrestling, but then again, Bobby Green doesn't really wrestle offensively too much in his fights. He might he go for them a little bit limitedly, but he's not a guy that's going to be necessarily pressing the wrestling. But hey, he got out-wrestled by Dan Hooker, so it's an opportunity for you to do it as well. And I feel like it would be a smart thing to do, especially when, like I said, the judges be so questionable how they judge striking. I feel like you throw some wrestling there, especially against an over-aggressive fighter. Especially if you could get him to... You start, you know, start to put such a Boston clinic on him that he start kicking heavy or starts overcommitting, getting frustrated out there. Those those takedowns will open up, and that would be a very high fight IQ to take advantage of some takedowns. I don't feel like he had anything to worry about with Nas and Rod Hocker offensively in wrestling, defensively in wrestling, offensively with jiu-jitsu, defensively with jiu-jitsu. So I feel like go for it. Make him frustrated, pick him apart on his feet, start having him kick heavy, catch a kick, drag him to the ground, work him on the ground, maybe get like 20, 30 seconds out of their control time. And then in a close round, that takedown sealed the round for you. Especially when you outlanded by like 15 strikes in that round. By the way, I've been talking a while and I've already said my prediction real. So in this one, Bobby Green via decision.